in the middle of the garden. So the point is, when God created Adam, of course, Eve was not there yet. But when he spoke of a command, Eve was not there too. Correct? Okay. So obviously, hindi narinig ni Eve yung utos. Right? Okay. Did you notice that there were two people in the garden, but the first one that the devil came to attack was the one who never heard the command. Nakikinig ko kayo? <laughs> okay, creation of Adam, the giving of the command, and then creation of Eve. Right? But then chapter 3 verse 1 opens this very gloomy scene wherein it says, the devil, the serpent, came the, 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 uh, the most hideous create creation of God, approach Eve. Why did he not approach Adam? I don't know the answer. Okay. Why Eve? Obviously, she never heard the command. But wait, but wait. Look at chapter 2, verse 15, and 16, and 17. <laughs> then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden to cultivate it and keep it. The Lord God commanded the man. So it's only Adam. Saying, from any tree of the garden you may eat freely, but from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat from it, you will surely die. So Adam heard this. But then when the serpent approached the woman, he quoted something from what God appeared to, had spoken to, to Adam. Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. Now the serpent was more crafty than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to who? The woman. Indeed, has God said, you shall not eat from any tree of the garden. The woman said to the serpent, okay, what I want you to compare is the original proclamation of the command versus the coding of Eve of the command. Okay? Here's the original proclamation of the command. Verse 16. From any tree of the garden you may freely eat, but from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat from it, you will surely die. Now here's what Eve said. Verse 2. The woman said to the serpent, From the fruit of the trees of the garden, we may eat. But from the fruit of the tree, which is in the middle of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat from it or touch it or you will die. What's the difference between verse 15 of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 2 of Genesis chapter chapter 3? What's the difference? Okay. No limit language. That's me now. Okay. So it appears, it appears that somehow Adam shared the command to Eve. But the problem with the, sh the problem with the knowledge that Eve had is that it's not a first hand giving or should I say it's not a first hand revelation to Eve. It was already a second hand revelation to Eve. That is why there was a research a long, long time ago, uh, a group of a hundred people, they would, they would, they wanted to know to determine if 
whatever is being said in in uh, point number one would all be true up to the end of the hundred people. And it ended up that from the first to the second to the fifth person, na iba na yung sinabi. It had changed from the first one to the fifth person. Nagbago na lahat. Hanggang saan nangyari, dito itlog sa panglima ay buwaya. Pagdating doon sa panghuli, ay malayo na sa itlog. That's the same thing that happens when you don't have a first-hand revelation of the Word of God. We should have an, uh, an attitude, a habit of reading our own Bible because if the serpent could trick the first woman and the first man, how can he not trick us? Let me give you an example. Remember Jesus was carrying his cross on the Via Dolorosa? And he fell down, right? Who helped him? Simon. Simon right? I have this funny friend who said, it was not Jesus who was crucified on the cross. <laughs> it was not Jesus. And his argument was this, because Simon picked up the cross, and you would never read that Simon returned the cross to Jesus Christ. <laughs> wala, wala ng verse na ganun eh, na sinuli ni Simon. <laughs> that is why, that's his argument. He is not Jesus Christ, that's Simon. That is why, when the man on the cross said, Father, Father, forgive them. It means Simon was calling to his dad. <laughs> and then when he cried out, Father, why hast thou forsaken me? He was calling to his dad because he saw his dad. <clears throat> Another example. We were in this, we were in, a, in our old ministry before. And we had a Christmas party. And there was this game like uh, Pinoy Henio. But it's something like a, a Bible quiz. Something like that. There was this guy who raised his hand even before the question was finished. Okay? The question was this. Sabi ng, uh, sabi ng MC, What? Is the name of the mother? So mother pa lang nag-grace na siya ng person. The mother of John the Baptist. Tagalog. Sino ang nanay? Pangalan ng nanay ni Juan Bautista. He raised his hand to mother and he, he cried out, he yelled, Perla Bautista. <laughs> This is true. I'm not making, making it. It is true. And everybody laughed at him. Paano na pasa si Perla Bautista sa Biblia? That's because dahil mo magkapilito sila ni Uso. Yes, he's the, he's the mom of John the Baptist. No, he's not. Now, if you would look at how you responded to this, this is true story. It's funny. It's funny. But yet, at the same time, it's scary. Why? Kung, kung Juan Bautista pa lang, talo na ho tayo. <laughs> Papaano pa ho sa ibang mga aspeto ng ating pananampalatahan? There was this preacher also. He kept on saying that the Philistines have have uh, 